Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to a very exciting Bakugan video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bakugan Armor Battles, which I believe is the last like set of Bakugan from the Legacy series ever made, if my trivia is correct. These were sent to me by a good friend in the Bakugan Revivers server. So I will leave an invitation link to the server in the description. I want you guys to join that. Um, it's just a very nice place for like legacy brawlers and even some reboot, but mainly the legacy guys to like, you know, come in and spread Bakugan knowledge and all that and just keep the legacy series alive and have a documentation of all the Bakugan and all that. So um, huge, huge shout out to him for just sending me this collection. It's very rare um, and just having this opportunity to review it is absolutely incredible. Also guys, check out his eBay account. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. So check it out. He sells some pretty cool stuff. So, um, you know, give him a look for sure. So how the wiki describes Bakugan Armor Battles is a fan fictional RPG series. Uh, an anime slash manga season of Bakugan. It's also Japanese exclusive, similar to Bakutek. Um, but like I said before, I believe this is the last like set of Legacy Bakugan made. Um, I could be wrong, but each of these Bakugan has similar things to how the Bakutek work, but also very, very different, which makes for very unique gameplay style. So I want to get into that by kind of giving you an idea. So we'll talk about it, but essentially each Bakugan has two arms and then feet the skill arm which is the uh, left arm is interchangeable and can be changed to swap skills for a player's advantage the right arm can switch the attribute symbol and then the soles or the feet are kind of like in Bakutech they can be plastic or metal and you can switch those out as well. Very, very similar to the convert system. So to give you guys an idea, we're gonna look at the main protagonist Bakugan of this show, Rex Hiru. I think I'm pronouncing that right. My Japanese is atrocious, but we're gonna be taking a look at him to explain all those features. So let's go ahead and pop him open. All right, so he's got horns. We can pop open as well. So get those out and then feet. And so we'll take a look at him. We'll do a nice spin uh, to get a full view of him. And so you might be noticing some stuff you're not familiar with, <laughs> specifically this 100 plus G power here. So um, how this works is you can pop the arm off completely. You can actually take them both off and the, uh, the feet also come off. So you can literally just have <laughs> this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the, the feet and stuff, you know, they, they, um, yeah, you can interchange everything, which is sick. Uh, so if you want to have a Bakugan that's, you know, Pyrus, that's not looking like a Pyrus Bakugan, you can do that. And so, um, each of them has a like specific little arm thing right here. So for instance, this one is called plus 100 and it's specific to Rex Hero and it adds a hundred you know, G power during a, a power battle. Um, so not sure exactly how the gameplay works on like power battles and stuff. I assume it's similar to like a Bakugan brawl, but it adds a hundred power to him. So you have 750 G power there. So it'd be 850 automatically, which is really, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so that's the main character Bakugan from the uh, series. Up next, we have Shippu Zex, which is a Ventus Bakugan. And similarly, he also has, you know, similar attributes here. He's got this little symbol, which is plus wind. Um, it adds the Ventus gate card bonus during a power battle. So, for instance, if this gate card, which is a uh, bottomless Dacon featuring Percival, Japanese card, but it would add um, the 180 uh, Ventus gate card bonus plus like an attribute bonus, I believe. I'm reading off the wiki. So, a little confusing, um, but same thing, you know every piece of him pops off and you can make him look like a worm <laughs> so, yeah pretty cool there he's also got 730 g's so i like that that about the japanese bakugan is they're not overly powerful like the americanized like mctanium surge bakugan so a little bit uh better there design wise you know the i don't think these are that crazy but 
for a game, like to actually play a game, these are really, really, really good. All right, and lastly, we have the third protagonist Bakugan of the show, which is Haido Kayo, I believe. Go ahead and pop him open. And uh, similarly, he looks a lot, like a lot like Shippu's X, um, but uh, he has 750 Gs. And I really like the white design on this one. Uh, really, really cool. And then, you know, like usual, you can pop the pieces off. I think you guys get the point now. But his specific power is called um, Blow Away, which allows you to freely move the Bakugan to any gate card being occupied by an opponent's Bakugan to trigger a power battle. So essentially, if you miss your gate card and you land on another one, you can just move him. Um, so really cool, great for strategy battles. Also, these guys have incredibly strong magnets. Like he's not even coming up off the card. Like he can, yeah, that's really cool. That's very high quality. I'm impressed with this. All right, so now we're moving on to the antagonist. We're gonna look at Ugon Huao, Huo, I think. Not sure how you pronounce that, but uh, yeah, here he is, 720 Gs. And let me go ahead and get his feet out. So I, I notice how some of them are plastic and some of them aren't, but they all have like this super strong metal here. But you know, likewise, you can take everything apart on all these guys. So his power up is right here. And I think it's very similar to the Ventus one. It's called Plus Light and it adds the Chaos Gate Card bonus during power battle. So very similar, you just get the Gate Card bonus. Um, Again, not sure exactly how the cards work. I'm pretty sure someone here can explain it to me. Uh, I, I just learned about these when he uh, sent them to me. So I'm learning everything kind of as I explain the video here. Um, but yeah, so specific battle, you know, you get power-ups, which is really, really cool. Up next is my favorite Bakugan of the bunch. This is Subterra. Uh, it doesn't look Subterra, but he is called Copper Kudaku. And he's basically a crocodile, which is really, really awesome. And his power-up is right here on the back. It's called O-Raid, which allows you to freely move the gate card where your Bakugan stood. So you can essentially make it to where whatever gate card you want, you can play by using him, which is really, really sick. And of course, everything comes off. Um, he doesn't have feet, really. Like, they're kind of just built in right here, which you, I don't believe you can remove those. But he does have, if you notice here, a place to put feet which is super interesting. So we're gonna have to play with that here in a little bit. All right, and lastly on the list is Yasha Tagaris, which I'll go ahead and pop open here. Um, kind of like a, a darkest bird and pops out. There we go. So he kind of reminds me of like an ostrich or an emu here. Um, really, really cool though, I like him. So his is, is unique because it's got a plus question mark, but it's called free select. And it allows you to freely select which additional attribute gate card bonus to add to the power level. So you can just select which one of these you want, which is really sick, um, as far as I'm aware. And uh, yeah, so super, super cool there. Uh, again, everything disconnects. And we're actually going to take a look at all the swappable pieces here now. Lastly, I want to mention one last one, which just appeared on the wiki that I was totally unaware of, but there is a Bakugan called Ikitosin, which I'm very familiar with, but he doubles the attribute gate card bonus, so I'll pull up a picture of what he looks like. Um, super rare, super like uh, tr trophy Bakugan, like you can't really get him, um, but nevertheless, he's on the wiki, which I didn't know he was part of this, but very cool Bakugan, very rare as well. He's just, in the wiki, he's just considered an other Bakugan, He's like a legendary Pokemon, basically. He's a legendary Bakugan that both teams are trying to chase after, which is really cool. All right, so I want to feature these guys and show how their swappable parts are. So I'm going to go ahead and just take some parts from these dudes and swap them. And so, as you can tell here, they would now get that specific like power. So this one would now get that power to essentially um, move to whatever gate card it wants to. And then this one would get the 100 G power bonus, which is pretty awesome. Likewise, if you want to take these two guys right here and you want to change their attributes from Chaos to Ventus and, and so on and so forth, you can also do that. So then you'd have a Chaos um, Shippu Zex and then a Ventus Ugan Huo, Huo, Ugan Huo, I think they're called. But yeah, and so... I don't know, that's pretty cool. They they can also close, which is interesting. I haven't tried this yet, but I believe everything goes together. Yeah. So you can actually shut them like this, which is really crazy. The complexity behind these guys 
like being able to close like this is really, really interesting. Um, in my opinion, like if you're starting out collecting, this is almost better because the amount of different things you can do with these Bakugan, like display wise, um, you know, character wise and just play gameplay wise is incredible. So I'm going to leave those guys over there. I want to take a look at some other possibilities here. So I know we can swap the feet out to put them on this uh, copper Kudaku. Uh, so I want to make him look interesting. Yeah, there we go. So now he's got feet. And then let's say I want to give him, I want to make him Aquas. So let's make him Aquas. Pull that on there. And then I want to give him that 100G power bonus again. So now he looks like this, which is crazy. Um, yeah, let's see if I can actually shut him. So it looks like I can, like it's not really giving me any kind of major resistance. I wonder how far I can test this, but like, let's talk about this. This is a Bakugan. Like, are you kidding me? This is, <laughs> this is crazy. You can make any, it's a Frankenstein Bakugan. That's what it is. You can swap it to anything. Let's see how he rolls. Um, oh, whoa, okay, that's really lopsided. Oh. All right, hold on. This is going to take some getting used to. Very, very lopsided. So I need to push him. Let's see. I don't know what's causing him to be lopsided. I think it's that there's lack of material here. But yeah, he's trying to turn a lot. There he goes. But yeah, he pops open and stuff. Let's uh, let's Frankenstein another one. Boom. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got this guy. Really, really weird. And let's see how he closes. It's it's crazy that they the they're so easy to put together um let's see if i can roll him yeah oh that is awesome so yeah i mean just completely interchangeable which is the coolest thing ever like baku tech got it and then armor battles just came in and, and completely stole the show I'm in love with these. I, I need to get them for my own collection now. Like, he's awakened something in me. These guys are dope. Um, yeah, and just... And I mean, honestly, like, putting them back together isn't that hard. Like, I don't feel it's super stressful or anything like that. Like, just... There's no awkwardness to it, really. I mean, you gotta figure out which way they go in. But that's not that bad. And, uh... Just piecing them back together is really satisfying. Having the different colors, super satisfying. So another thing I noticed is that these pieces right here come out on uh, Yasha Tagara's. It makes me keep thinking I'm missing stuff, but uh, not 100% sure. I'm looking around. So yeah, these are the Bakugan Armor Battle Bakugan. Really, really cool Bakugan. Um, if you have the opportunity to collect these, I highly, highly recommend it. Again, huge shout out to my friend on the Discord server for letting me review these. Um, really, really awesome. Super great opportunity. I appreciate it so much. These dudes are really, really, really cool. Um, so I hope I got all the information right. You know, again, like I was totally new to this. Um, didn't even know they existed until uh, I read the wiki and he sent them to me. So uh, yeah. You learn something new every day. I hope you guys learn something as well. Again, we can have a discussion in the comments about it, which I think would be great. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Jesse. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.